So, you want to learn Arduino programming? So does one of my mates, Tim. In this episode of Mick Makes Mates, you'll be able to learn alongside Tim. So, yeah, I had to really get rid of him because he was no good. Poor guy. So, your resume says you know how to use a camera, so that's, yeah. that's good. That's exactly what I need. I can use a camera. Look, it means important things like focus. Focus? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you have to wear those glasses all the time? Hey! I mean, can you see? Hey, it's who I am. Alright. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Look, I only have one take of this. It's really important that I get it right the first time. Don't worry, mate. It'll be right. Okay, look, I'll give you one chance. So, I have a friend with a problem. He's interested in Nerf guns. Oh, when they work! <laughs> Let me introduce you to Tim. Hi Tim. Hey you Mick. Good to see you mate. So, so Tim, why are you interested in Nerf guns? That's what my wife asks me all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know, well, it's toys which is great, but mm -hmm. otherwise it's um, electronics and I love mm -hmm. electronics. So, you have heard the buzzing sound, it runs on batteries oh, and yeah. motors. So, I'm into anything like that and oh, improving yeah. them, making them go faster or harder. So, you told me earlier on, you want to be able to improve uh, the weapons that you have. Yes, so that's how right. How are you going to improve the weapons? Well, most Nerf blasters that are flywheel based are semi automatic, which means right, you've got right. to pull the trigger. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And there's only one or right. two fully automatic ones. I would like to make all of them automatic. Right. And right. I've got a, I bought a special part that I want to be able to use, oh, yeah. but I need your help to make it work. Okay. So I gather you also want to be able to adjust the rate. That's right. Um, adjust the you know the frequency, the the power, the speed. Is it? That's right. So firing? how many darts, how yeah. fast they sh fire or bursts of them? Right. I reckon I can help you there. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, mate. <laughs> All right. So probably the best way to help you out is to teach you how to program a little microcontroller. Uh mm -hmm. So you can you can make any adjustments you want. Uh mm -hmm. uh, You can make the firing rate slow, fast. Uh, you can add all sorts of uh, extra enhancements. Yeah, as I like much as you yeah. like. We call it modding, so I like a big, a big fan of modding stuff. Okay, well let's get into it. Alright, modding stuff. So clearly Tim has a real desire to modify a Nerf gun. He's got some fantastic ideas. So I've suggested to him that he takes this course so he can learn Arduino programming and then he'll be able to do what he wants to be able to do. So Tim, yeah. so the, uh, the goal with this is to, to get you to be able to program an Arduino. Yep. Arduino is a good base board to work with. Yep. Uh, it's easy, it's cheap, um, it'll do everything you want it to do. Yeah, I like cheap, cheap's good. Yeah. <laughs> and all you need really is the Arduino board, mm -hmm. USB cable, and yep. a computer. Yep, I've got and all those three. Time. To help you on your way, I've actually got a uh, module here. So this Arduino uh, module here is actually a Teensy. Teensy, yep. Yeah. So this is one of the older versions, uh, Teensy uh, 3.0. It does everything that Arduino does. Mm -hmm. It has all the outputs, everything else you want to be able to do. Okay. Yep. So you're familiar with uh, electronics, aren't you? Yeah, I did year 10 electronics. All oh, right, right. Really so, good. And so, I did computer studies. Right, right. So yep. you know about um, LEDs, yep. resistors, I know all that sort of stuff. Yeah, all right. So you've got a, a good understanding. Um, I'd, I'd suggest if you're going to be prototyping, I'd get a breadboard. Okay. So, so this breadboard here. You can pick these up at most electronic stores. Yeah, I'll buy go J Car or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. J Cars. And they're fantastic. Cool. All you do is you plug in your uh, Arduino yeah. uh, into the into the breadboard and you can just start wiring up. Yeah, without, like. without having to use any soldering and stuff. Yeah, that's right. Plug it's in right. And plug in, yeah. <laughs> so it's really good. By this stage, Tim was chomping at the bit to get stuck into Arduino programming. But there's a few things he needs to know about first. All right, so Tim. Um, uh, as I mentioned just earlier, we're, we're working with the uh, little Teensy. Yep. The Teensy has a whole bunch of outputs, um, so it supports uh, the capability of touch screens. Touch screens yeah, oh, touch really? screens you have. Uh, has punch, uh, pulse width modulation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, What's that? Uh, okay. So it's it allows you to um, pulse a certain pin at a, f a certain frequency. So so say if you want to be able to um, send out a, a one hertz frequency, just yeah. consistent frequency. Yeah. Um, you could program that pin just to what, turn on and off. Yeah, or? turn it off, and it'll turn on and off exactly one hertz. And what kind of voltage we're we talking about here? Oh, we're talking the standard uh, sort of Arduino volts. 
okay. volt voltage, so which is what a, a three point three volts. Ah, oh, okay, all right. <clears throat> okay, so I think like you can't turn on a torch light with it, or like a really bright torch light. Uh, well, you, you could actually, um, but you'd need to have uh, you know, some sort of power transistor to be able to control. Yeah, but not so directly from the. Not, yeah, yeah, not okay. directly. Yeah. Okay, but you still use the PWM for that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. if you wanted to make a little strobe light, yeah, um, you'd use a PWM just yep. like that. Yep. So in your case, yep. if you want to be able to control the uh, the rate of fire, yep. then you use a PWM. Yeah. Because it doesn't um, use up any of the CPU cycles of the of oh, the um, of the Tensi. Okay. So yeah, so you got um, you know, touch capability, uh, pulse width modulation, and most of these pins can actually be programmed to um, either be one or the other. So um, it'll be a touch interface, or else pulse width modulation, mm -hmm. um, or else a, a straight input output. I notice the all the orange ones have A, A nine, A eight. Yeah. yeah. What is the A stand <laughs> for? Okay, so the A's are the analog pins. Yeah. Uh, so uh, these allow an analog input. So if you've got a um, an accelerometer, yep, yep, where you want to be able to read values for an accelerometer, yeah, you'd plug it into one of these uh, okay. analog pins. Or like a um, you know the light daytime detectors inside those motion detecting lights. There's a little resistor, a light dependent yeah, resistor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. A, so that's the analog. That's right. Yeah. Signal. So a lux, like a lux sensor or yeah, something. Yeah. You plug it into one of those. So you can see a lot of these um, have multiple uh, capabilities. So mm -hmm. um, analog pins, uh, digital pins. The green ones that you're talking about. This yeah. SPI, which is a, a serial peripheral interface which allows you to connect to uh, other devices that have an SPI on it. Yes. Yeah. So this, the Tensi has uh, um, uh, several serial buses. Serial, um, the old serial mouse, old serial yeah, joystick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, nine pins. Yeah, similar to yeah. the old serial uh, mouses. The, the old serial mouses just had two, two lines, or three, ground and transmit receive. Okay. There's the I2C bus, uh, which has a clock data Mm -hmm. and ground, um, and then there's the SPI bus. So they're both the same, there's just different ways of being able to communicate to other devices. Mm -hmm. So if you had an, uh, an accelerometer or a LUX sensor that was ITC bus, sorry, ITC based, yep. you'd plug it into the um, Arduino and you'd be able to talk to it. Same thing with the SPI <coughs> interface. So in other words, there's lots of different devices out there that output different kinds of signals, different languages, I suppose you could say, and this one can take a combination yeah, that's and arrange right. them, right? Yeah, that's right. So it's it's the, the hardware layer that you're talking to these um, these specific devices. It also has a standard RXTX, which is your you know, serial mouse that you have, you know, oh, okay. serial bus. The serial buses that you have on the back of computers, mm -hmm. um, they were 12 volt based. Oh, okay. So oh, yeah. this one isn't 12 volt based. Essentially, you can program any of the pins to be a range of things. Okay. Um, one thing that this doesn't do is allow you to change it completely. So if one of the pins is designed to be an IT interface, yep. you can't move that across to another one. So it's hardwired to that particular yeah, sport uh, pin. That, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, the good thing is, like, was it 23 pins? So you got a bit of choice at least. Oh, yeah. And that 23 pins, that, do all Arduinos have the 23 pin arrangement? Is that standard? It really depends on the, the microcontroller you have. So the Arduino um, is not the chip? Arduino is is basically comprised of the the programmer, like the Arduino ID, yep. the concept of being able to program a chip, uh, which is the 8 mega series mm -hmm. of chips. So it's a whole thing. It's yep. not just uh, it's a system. system. It's, it's a system. system. Yeah, yeah okay. Right. So you've got a series or a family of chips, yeah. and then <clears throat> a standard way of communicating with the chip and programming it. Uh, That's right. The language, the, the language and right. everything else. So, okay. So when, you, when you're talking Arduino, you, you're really saying the whole thing. Yeah. So okay. The chip, uh, everything else. What else with this board? Uh, you've got a standard reset button mm -hmm. uh, and LED. So it's quite good. It's a standard sort of board you'd get. If you go off and buy, um, let me see if I've got another one here. Uh, so this is another particular um, board that we have, uh, which is the Blue Duino. Blue Duino, yep. Blue Duino. So basically it's got a, a, um, a BLE module. A what? A BLE module. BLE. Uh, Bluetooth Low Energy. Bluetooth Low Energy, right, <coughs> yeah. okay. And Sounds like a spy device. Yeah, it does, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> uh, and then it's got the 8 mega. So it's, this one's the 8 mega 32U4. So it's a, a separate entity. Um, a different company, you mean, that makes it? Yeah, well, the, the, there's a different company that makes the, the BLE module. Oh, right. Then there's um, 8 mega. And some manufacturers bought the two peaks together. And That's right, the they actually made this, this one module. Yep. Uh, you can also get, this is the uh, Simbly, which is, it's Arduino compatible. Mm -hmm. But essentially everything that I showed you in that last module yep. is contained in this one chip. 
Yeah. But it's RGUN compatible as in, as in you use the RGUN IDE yeah. to program it. So it's not in the official ecosystem, so, but it's third well, party. It's, it's actually official because uh, you go to the Simbly uh, website, download the RGUN libraries to enable you to program oh, okay. Simbly. Right. So in all intents and purposes, it is. it's, it's, yeah. it's an official... Arduino. Yeah. So Arduino isn't necessarily just a one chip. Arduino IDE in version 1.6, they started to support ARM-based MCUs, MCUs microcontroller, right, right. right? As opposed <coughs> to CPU. As opposed to CPU, yeah, okay. central processing. Yeah. Right. So that was good because it opened up the, the whole world of, of ARM processors, ARM-based processors. Yeah, which is a big manufacturer of chips, right? Yeah. They make all the stuff. Well, ARM is a standard, so um, oh, you find. Right. Yeah. So if you've got a, an Android phone, then you've probably got an ARM processor in there. Hmm. So ARM processors range from you know, tiny little things all the way up to you know, even laptops. Okay. Some laptops have. All right. So that's the range of Arduino. So by this stage, Tim is very ready to get stuck into Arduino programming. This next section deals with plugging in the Arduino for the first time. So what else are we going to get onto? Do you want to learn about uh, how to actually connect it up then? Yeah, that, let's, let's <coughs> plug in some right. power and have some lights flashing or something. Alrighty. Okay, so you've got your Arduino. Yep. Um, you've got your cable. With the USB uh, micro. Yeah, so this one's a micro USB, yeah, uh, micro which you'll B. find yeah. pre not micro B, <laughs> micro USB. Yeah. Oh, sorry, micro <laughs> USB B. Yeah, micro as opposed yeah. to A. So. Yes, 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 the official one. That's all um, the all the <laughs> phones bar. iPhone use this now for the yeah, charging, right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty common. Yeah. Pretty common interface. Um, so you plug it in. Uh, hang on, you got to plug it in the right way. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here we go. Click now. The, the, with most of the Arduino boards, yeah. um, this is the program a, a default program into it. Yep. So out of the factory, they say. So out of the factory, they'll program it in, and you'll just see a light blinking. That's yep. the usual thing. That's too, so you know something's not wrong at least. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. This is commonly called the Hello World application. Okay. <laughs> so the Hello World application is basically an application where you say, I actually want to know if this is working. Mm -hmm. How can I tell if it's working? Mm -hmm. If you've got an LED, you start blinking it. Yeah. If you've got a like a, a screen, you write "Hello World." Yeah. Right? So it's a classic, absolute classic sort of uh, check. Yeah. Okay. Sanity check. Yeah. So "Hello World." So it's it's an 80, 80s programming sort of meme, is it? Yeah. 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 All right. So you know it's actually working when you got the little blinking light. All right. And I could. I heard the PC go. <laughs> which All means right. It's, uh, okay. So what the, what the PC is doing? Um, we might have to start recording okay. the PC as well. In the next episode, Tim will learn how to install the Arduino software and he'll actually get to write his first piece of code. Until then, see you next time. Mick mate, make, Mick mate, Mick mate, make, Mick mate, mate. Who came up with this name? Make, mit, mit, oh man.